and now you said no, uh, in bloom the in bloom video is like a, it's the beginning of an answer to all that even to to mtv or to the whole uh video uh, universe mm. Hmm. i'm not really sure because I, I'm not I'm not really opposed to videos. I don't I don't I don't hate them. Uh, sometimes they're fun to do. Especially that video was fun to do because it only took us six hours. <laughs> Normally a video will take it the whole day, just like really? over and over and over. We only had to listen to the song like four times. And it was great. It was, it was really great to be able to do that, and it was totally spontaneous. Um, Courtney. Um, had brought some dresses with her she was taking them to a friend's house or she didn't know she had borrowed some dresses from a friend of hers and so i thought hey let's put some dresses on and you know dance around in those and that was just you know everything was just pretty much spontaneous the the the, the basic idea was just to um you know do a video that looked like it came from the early 60s or, or the or the late 50s well, but uh, what about the other version that you were more with suits and all like that it was, it was done in the same day yeah just you just change your clothes and yeah we just change our clothing okay yeah. oh, and you mentioned that Courtney came with that, those dresses and she's recording right here I mean do you by any chance interfere with what she's doing uh, some in, in her work or how much does one uh, interferes with how that works um yeah we get in each other's way every once in a while <laughs> well, well I, yeah but I mean more uh, more uh, intentional uh, we well, we we just like to be together all the time. You know, we, we're best friends. She's my best friend, and so when she's playing music, I like to listen to it and maybe suggest some things. And she does the same thing with me too. And um, she's just this was just an opportunity for her to. She she came with us, and and her and Patty, her drummer, came too. Uh, it's just a vacation, and so this was just a, a, a spontaneous thing for them to just make a, a few demos and. See what they're gonna do with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, it's Roy. Arnaldo Baptista. Is that how you pronounce his name? That's it. Mm -hmm. Where? I said, where, where, where did you hear from them? I mean, how, who told you I tried to look for this band? My friend Bill Bartel who is, um, he has a record label called Gasatanka Records and he was in White Flag and he's friends with Red Cross and he's a very nice guy, he has a mustache and um, he's a really nice guy and he and he sent me a tape of the first two records um, a, f a few weeks ago, about a month ago mm -hmm. and I really liked it and he said if you go to Brazil you have to, you have to say to everybody that this is a great band and I agree with him I think this is this is a very influential and cool band for the time how did it sound to you I mean does it have a, like a Brazilian kind of sound on the background yeah that, there's a lot a of Latin impression. rhythms in there in some of this music yeah because they came with this idea that let's mix Brazilian rhythm and rock and uh -huh. this was in the late 60s right can you can you say some something like typical from Brazil there yeah, oh definitely, there's some, I, I can hear the, the rhythm and the influence in, in, in the music a lot. I just, I respect them so much. I'm just, I'm not familiar with them very much because I've just started getting into them. But I think from what I've read about them, they were, they were very revolutionary. I mean, they made their own effects boxes, you know? They, they made their own fuzz boxes and, and they were also really controversial too, which was, they had a lot of guts to be doing stuff like that in the, in the military um, society that was going on then. And I just think that is so cool. That was uh, totally counterculture. Culture, yeah, totally. very. People wouldn't believe what they did. Yeah. Oh, it's very cool to like that. And yeah. I hope you enjoy the CDs too. Yeah, I will. And thank you again. All right. Bye.